Hey, have you ever wondered what would happen if the Baltimore Orioles, who have spent the last half decade at or very much near the bottom of the standings season after season after season, if you wondered what would happen if they were relegated? And if there was another team to come up in their place and be promoted? Now's your chance to find out. This is Out of the Park Baseball 23, and this is your tutorial on how to create a promotion, a relegation system. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Let's get to the action. Now, if you're going to start off with the Major League version as your top tier, where said Baltimore Orioles or this year's Cincinnati Reds, who have just three wins on the season out of about 25 games played thus far, if they were facing relegation, this is that beginner tutorial on that one. So to do this, you would start with a new standard game. You are going to need the commissioner mode to make changes on this one, so do not enable challenge mode. And as I was saying, this can be done in other manners. It doesn't have to just be Major League Baseball, but we are going to use that Major League example. Now on this screen, the world is your oyster. If you want to start as one of those 30 Major League teams, by all means, take the Baltimore Orioles and try to survive relegation or this year's Cincinnati Reds who are really struggling or if you want to take an up-and-comer who are on the brink of finally making the playoffs my home state Seattle Mariners might be a good option for you regardless of choices if you are into the promotion relegation concept and you want to take a team from a lower tier on up make sure you select start unemployed but then set your manager up as you choose. Uh, you do wanna make sure that you have control to, to edit things. So you do wanna play in commissioner mode. And for me, if I'm taking on a relegation system and I want to take one team and I wanna build that team and not journeyman style where you're gonna move from job to job, for me anyway, I don't mind sucking horribly and building my way up but I do want to ensure that I get to continue on with that project. So I'm going to select cannot be fired. And I like the general manager role more than the manager role, but there's some selections involved in being manager that I rather enjoy as well. So I'll, I'll leave both selected on that. But this is entirely up to you on how you want to run that one. From here, we now have a standard start. The game is ready to go but this is where things are going to change and we begin to add in one or multiple feeder leagues that will provide the lower tiers of our system. You start by going to the game drop down menu and choosing game settings. Over here on the right hand side you have global actions. You will choose add a new league to this game. We have real world choices, uh, fictional historical or tournament at this stage it's a lot easier to not mess with kind of interlocking world uh, leagues though by all means you can mess around with that and try to figure that one out yourself uh, but we are going to add a fictional league and we are going to not choose Major League Baseball itself as that one already exists. But what we are going to do is over here in the structure, we are going to choose the MLB setup down below. So two sub leagues, three divisions each with 30 total teams. Now, you do not have to, and this is not necessarily the case in real life. In real life, in the most comparable setup, right the the sport of football around the world or soccer as it's known in the u.s in that sport it's not always a one-to-one -one ratio you might have 20 teams in the premier league but you have 24 in the championship below that you have 24 in league one league two uh, so the football league is a little different than the premier league itself but i'm going to go ahead and choose a system that mimics though the options are up to you on how you do this one but I want to mimic the MLB setup and then go to next step. Now again, I want to mimic, I want this league to look like that league. I want each franchise to have its own minor league system that will match with 
what you have in the major leagues. Therefore, I will not unselect any of these. And from here, you have options. From here, you can name your league. You can name the sub leagues, as in the American and National League. And you can, of course, rename your divisions. Likewise, you can rename your franchises. Now, the naming mechanics in this game, there is a database of images, logos, looks that teams have based on certain selections. If you have something totally out of the box, maybe like a Min of War, this one might not be in the system. It might have been able to generate the name, but it might not necessarily match. Guaranteed the Bulldogs are a match. There is going to be a logo within the files for the Bulldogs. The Min of War, not so much. In that case, you might have a generic B with a backdrop of a diamond. That'll represent this team. So careful on your selections. Uh, in my series that I'm doing on this one, I had an international league that I set up with teams from Mexico and Cuba, etc. And I used some real world teams for that. But for example, the Tigers aren't known as the Tigers in Spanish, it's Tigris. If you type in the team nickname as Tigris, you're gonna get that generic Monterey, that M. If you rename them the Tigers, you're going to get a more authentic, more likable uh, image. So careful on what you do with your, your naming. Also, depending on what you're aiming for, you might be perfectly okay having three teams from Vegas in your pro reg series. Maybe not. Maybe you want a little more authenticity to it. So go through, rename your teams. You already have two teams from New York. Is it okay to have a third one based in Brooklyn? Is it okay to have one based in Queens? Which you already do with the Mets, right? I think they're in Queens. You pick how it's going to look. There's already a team in the Dallas area, the Rangers. Make your decisions, but make sure that if you change your team name, don't forget to change the abbreviation. Make sure that if you set up a team from Mexico City, change your nation to Mexico. On this one, it's totally up to you how you want to set up your teams. For the sake of the tutorial, let's move on. The next set of options, there's a couple important ones. The others are very much optional to what you want. You have your standard settings. You have your ability to automatically adjust league strategy from year to year. But this is where we get into something important. If you hold an inaugural fantasy draft, they are going to take the major league pool of players and redraft them. This is not what we want. We are adding in a second tier, potentially third, fourth, fifth tiers below the major league level. If you want to maintain the authenticity and keep the major league players on the major league teams as is and just add in competition below that, be sure to uncheck hold inaugural fantasy draft. And then it's important, depending on how you want to do things, to delay player creation, where you can go in and manually do it yourself. You could assign the free agents that exist within the league, or you can randomly assign players to all teams. So if we uncheck this, we will have random players assigned. So I'm going to go ahead and have that unchecked. So we have the random players that are put in there. And then as we want to link up with the major league schedule, I'm going to go ahead and keep the season start date at the beginning of April. 162 games and a typical series length of three games. Now, if your heart's content is to have the major league as your top tier and a secondary league as your second tier, and that is all you want, then you would move forward onto the next step. Theoretically, many of you are going to want, like I enjoy, a multi-tier system. So we 
then just go through what we just did rinse and repeat for each additional tier that you want but for the sake of showing you uh, how to organize this all together i'm going to go ahead and add one more tier for this demonstration so again global settings add a new league to this game we're going to add another fictional league yet again adding the mlb setup for this one Again, you're going to come up with a league name, as I already have a fictional baseball league to, to eliminate some of the confusion. We will have fictional baseball league two here, but same process. Name your teams, select what minor leagues you want involved. If you are looking to mimic things, you want to make sure that you have everything selected. What I fear happening in this one, and I do not know how the game would handle it is if you only have say triple a and none of the other minor leagues are involved and then a team is promoted what's going to happen with that team do they suddenly have the double a class a short season a rookie league or don't they i don't know how the game will handle that so uh, i fear that altering the complexion of your leagues varying it from tier to tier could be game breaking when you have promotion and relegation happening so consistency between the leagues avoids that i will point this out once again make sure that you are unchecking the hold inaugural fantasy draft from your league but otherwise i am maintaining settings now that my world is populated with not one major league level but three of those levels we have additional steps to make this into a promotion relegation. Now, going off on a tangent for a moment, if you had only opted to have just a two tier system and that second tier, if you wanted them to be populated by real life free agents, teams not, uh, players not currently on rosters and not have to create players, you would have selected delay player selection or player creation and that would mean your teams would be empty now had you not selected 30 teams because 30 teams there's not twice as many players in the major leagues that are free agents as there are players in the major leagues at least not in the database if you had selected fewer teams this would work a little bit better but you can always add on if you run out of players. But anyway, what you do from there is you would come to league settings and you can schedule a free agent draft. But hold on just a second before you do that. Right now we have Major League Baseball selected. We would need to make sure that we are first selecting the fictional baseball league, whatever that second tier was there aren't going to be players that would be left for the third tier. But you could th theoretically do this at that second level. But you would select them to change that now that we are now using functions for that league. But you would schedule a free agent draft. And then up here you would select that league. And after scheduling a free agent draft... Uh, you would have the option up here at the top above the off-season center at that time. Uh, it would be highlighted in red. And you could enter a draft. You could set up your order. You can auto-draft or manually draft if you wanted, but you can auto-draft and be done in, in, in an instant and draft all of those free agents onto the teams. That being said, if you still had empty roster spots because you had too many teams in that league or like what we have here, you have multiple leagues where there are, again, just too many teams to populate through free agents. After you have exhausted the free agent pool, you can go in roster functions for one league and then the subsequent league if you wanted and fill teams with fictional players. Do not forget to also fill teams with fictional coaches and scouts so that that part's all taken care of ahead of time in advance of the season. 
So whichever method you've picked, whether it was random players initially, whether you've taken real world free agents, or whether you decided you wanted to go through and redraft everything uh, from the major leagues, however you've populated your rosters, now that the rosters are populated, now it's time for us to go in and set up the promotion relegation system itself. Now this is a step we're going to have to repeat for each of the leagues that are involved. In this case, we have three of them. If you want a six tier setup, you're gonna to need to do this six times to make it work and keep track of what your order is for your leagues. Be aware of what that is. But under league settings, we're gonna to go to options. And here we have team promotion and demotion settings. You wanna check mark enable promotions uh, automatic promotion and relegation and then once that pops in you're gonna have here promote teams to league and relegate teams to league you need to be aware of what tier you are looking at at this time and where you need to get some those teams to either go up or down now in this case we are looking at the middle tier we are looking at the fictional baseball league so this is our second tier this is where we are going to be promoting teams to the major leagues but we are also going to be relegating teams down to the second fictional baseball league so we're going to want to under promote choose major league baseball and then choose the number of teams that you want to promote. Now this is entirely at your disposal. You could choose seven teams. By the way, you could choose seven teams per sub league or per division. One logical way to do this would be to promote one team per division. What that would result in under the major league system would be three teams going up from this league, three teams from the other. So you would have a total of six teams going up. You would have a total of six teams being relegated from Major League Baseball. In that case, the setup would be whoever is last place in each division would be relegated and replaced by the division winner. That's a perfectly logical option on how to select this. Another way to do it is to pick two teams per sub league now we're looking at the two best teams in the equivalent of the american league and the national league in those lower divisions and then you're sending down you just need to make sure you're sending down an equal number of teams and following the same pattern if you choose per sub league then you need to make sure in the other one you're choosing per sub league and the same number of teams that consistency is going to be really important to what it is that you are doing. In this case, that would provide a total of four teams that are going up. Or you could say if you wanted three teams total promotion relegation, something resembling what you see at the uh, soccer equivalent in most leagues around the world though that's certainly not the case in all there's plenty that only do two there's plenty that do four but three is a very common number for promotion and relegation three gives you a really odd number or it doubles up to be six so that could be three teams total in which case you would then have the three worst records and the three best records swapping places Whatever option you choose, just be sure to be consistent through all of your tiers. If you want it to be consistent, just be sure that your consistency at least is what is being relegated here is being replaced here equally. So if you want your top tier and your second tier to only have the two worst teams go down, then make sure the two best teams come up. And if from the second tier to the third tier, you want wholesale changes. If you have six teams going down, one from every division, make sure that your third tier then has six teams going up 
one from every division. Your consistency needs to be relegation versus promotion equivalent. Does not have to be equivalent tier to tier. You can get as creative as you want. I'm going to go ahead and select two per sub league, and I'm going to do that consistently for the for each tier. For fictional baseball league two, we need to also set up our relegation system there on what's going down, and that's going to give us two down, two up per sub league, which means there's four teams going up or down from either tier. Now, like I said, you're going to need to do this for each and every tier. So now we're gonna move on to Fictional Baseball League 2, enable promotion and relegation for teams, and there is no relegation from here. This was the bottom tier that we have set up. There is nothing below it, so there's no relegation. But we do want to promote to the Fictional Baseball League, and this is where that important step of making sure you were matching up tier to tier consistently, appropriately, and we will have two teams per sub league going up. That's four up, four down. And then I need to finally do the same with Major League Baseball as well. Enable promotion relegation. And in this case, only relegation. And we relegate to the fictional baseball league where we're going to have two teams per sub league. This is the top tier. No promotion beyond here. Make sure you are consistent with that. If you are going to alter your schedules, change the number of games, make sure you have some sort of consistency. It looks like our Major League uh, Baseball is set up to start 7th of April, 162 games. One thing I caught in my own series and have caught it doing here, it looks like maybe it's an out of the park baseball 23 sort of thing. But if you look at our Major League schedule, it is set to start on the 7th of April of 2022. When we go in and select our fictional baseball league, it is start set to start on March 29th, 162 games, but it's set to start on 2023. Make sure you change it to 2022. And the problem is, is our start date for the game, April 3rd. And that's why it wants to kick off a whole year later. So let's bring this thing on down to, well, I, I suppose I'll match dates here. We'll go April 7th. And now we can select 2022. We are going to probably have to redo the league schedule for that to work properly. In, in which case we can generate a fictional schedule. And there's Thursday, April 7th, so first day of the season. My second tier has done the exact same thing and wanted to start on the same day, which of course cannot happen. So it pushed itself forward an entire year. So we're going to adjust that to April of 2022, and then edit this schedule as well. So now we have schedules. We have our promotion and relegation set up. But now we want to unite our leagues so that they are going to operate similarly. In particular, we don't want them to have separate drafts. It's not realistic. If the major leagues have a draft, and then the Fictional Baseball League has a draft, and the Fictional Baseball League 2 has a draft. Where do those players come from? We want them all to be drafting from the same pool. That is the most realistic thing that can happen here. If a draft exists, it should exist in a united sort of way. So to make this happen, we're going to have to create an association and bring all of our leagues together into that association. That option shows up here under the game pull down tab of create league association and make sure you select all of your tiers and then create association. Here we have our amateur draft dates. If you want to get one in the first season, make sure you change the year to 2022. Otherwise you can have a 2023 for your very first draft. Choose your number of rounds generate players for X number of rounds. Right now we only have enough players to go one round beyond what is there. So for me, that, that doesn't make much sense. You wanna have a deep enough pool to actually be able to pass on some players. So I'll set that to 25. If you are into maintaining rules, 
the enable shared rule five draft makes a lot of sense. And actually that's a really good way for some of those lower tier teams to pick up some decent players that have been passed on at the major league level, which actually would make a lot of sense. If you're good enough to play in the major leagues, but you are stuck in triple A and you have the right rule set to qualify for the rule five draft, I would certainly want to be picked up by a professional team. I would be more interested in playing for a tier two professional team than I would be to play for the reserves of a major league team, especially if I knew that I wasn't one year away from getting that job at the higher level. Now, one thing you could do is enable playoffs between associated leagues. We're not going to do that one here as the promotion relegation is the main thing that we are focused on. We want the leagues to have their own internal playoffs, mimicking again what the major leagues do. Make sure you name your association and choose your rule set that you're going to work from. But the main thing about this one is setting up your draft and rule five draft to be united as one. One last detail, do not forget about this one, is we have selected to start as unemployed. If you're wanting to go all the way down to that third tier, find which team it is that you would like to take over. Let's say you want to move to Hawaii and be a honker, as if they have traffic there. <laughs> or, oh, maybe it's a bird. See, we have a, a nice logo with this one. Uh, and you can see how most of them do. San Jose Red Sox you get a more pristine logo. I mean, you can see in this case, the Predators, they just get a generic B, a P. The Riptide get a generic R. But I think that actually is at least a little something better than the most basic ones that you're gonna get. When you've decided which team it is you want to take over, go under your managers tab and look at available jobs. And if you've set yourself up in the manner that you are league commissioner hopefully you did because i'm not sure all of this work we've done is possible without being league commissioner now you can choose anyone and just apply as gm and manager and you will take on the role all right folks hopefully this will set you up to enjoy a nice promotion relegation system and have some fun with ootp for a long time coming uh, for me find a lot more enjoyment in climbing the ladder than just going for the title especially if you are a team that's already on the verge i never personally never enjoy prospect of taking somebody who's already third best and making them the best wow what an achievement taking a team from the 10th tier and making them into the best now there's a challenge i'm the Cathlon gamer if you like what you saw here be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more action. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.